So what is mankind's greatest problem? What's the biggest problem on the earth today? Is it uh, global warming, floods, fires, famine, drought, hurricanes, tornadoes? Is it sickness? Is it cancer? Is it, is it COVID? What's the greatest problem? Is it, is it crime? Is it hatred? Is it racial strife? Is it sex trafficking? Is it pornography? Is it alcoholism? Is it drugs? What's the greatest problem? Greed? Well, all of those are big problems, but they all go back to the greatest problem, and the greatest problem is sin. What's mankind's greatest problem? What's the greatest problem? It's sin. You see, it tells us in Romans chapter 5 that through one man, Adam, therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin, thus death spread to all men because all have sinned. You see, Adam sinned. And when he sinned, it brought in the curse of death, separation from God, and turn this into a cursed planet. It says in Isaiah chapter 59, your sins have separated you from your God. You see, God is good. When he created the world, it was good. Everything was good. Every, Adam and Eve were completely healthy. Everything was full of life. There was love. There was complete order. There was no crime. There was no sickness. The earth cooperated. There, there weren't thorns or thistles. Animals didn't bite you. Or Everything was good because God created it. But sin is a wall between us and God. It separates us from God. So when Adam and Eve sinned, it brought the curse of, of separation. And so what was previously good became bad. Now, instead of people experiencing great health, now we experience sickness. People were not created to die, but now people die and we experience death. People aren't good anymore. They're, they're corrupted. There's hatred. There's greed. There's lust. There's, there's gluttony. There's addiction. There's brokenness. And there's chaos. The globe is in chaos. The, the temperature of the world is in chaos. Government's in chaos. Everything's in chaos because of sin. Well, that's a bad news. But it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 19, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many shall be made righteous. Who's that one man he's talking about? Well, that's Jesus. The God-man, God who became man to become one of us so he could take our sin. The story is this. We have sinned, and so that equals death and separation from God and all these problems. But Jesus Christ never sinned. So when he died on the cross, took our penalty, took our punishment, took, took our guilt, our shame, tore down the wall of separation between us and God. He gave us an opportunity to experience life and union with God. And so, your world, you personally, can go from this side to this side. You can step into all that is good in God, and you know that you have a place in heaven where there's no sickness, no sorrow, no suffering. No, everything's in order. Everything's good. Everything's true it's right people are good you have that opportunity through faith in jesus christ have you trusted jesus christ as your savior have you allowed him to conquer the greatest problem in your life which is sin if not you need to do that today you say well how do i do that it's very simple it's a b c a b c you admit that you believe that you have sinned, you believe that Jesus died for your sins, and you call upon him to save you. 
I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that right now. You can admit that you have sinned. You can believe that Jesus died to pay for your sins and rose again. You could call upon him to save you. You could commit your life to him. And you can determine to live the rest of your life to honor God and tell others about him. If you'd like to do that, you can do that right now. If you feel God drawing you to himself, you can, you can come to him right now. How do you do it? You pray. I'm going to lead you in a very simple prayer. Are you ready? Here we go. Dear Father in heaven, so you say that to God right now. Dear Father in heaven, I admit that I have sinned. I admit that I have sinned. I understand my sin has separated me from you. I understand that my sin has separated me from you. I believe Jesus never sinned. I believe Jesus is God. Tell him, I believe Jesus never sinned. I believe Jesus is God. I believe Jesus died for my sins and rose again. Tell God, I believe Jesus died for my sins and rose again. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I commit my life completely unto him. I commit my life completely unto him. Did you make that commitment? Did you cry out to God? Have you gone from this side to this side, from death unto life? If you did, tell me right now. Put that, hit that button, make that comment, I just got saved. My name's Dave Early. We have these videos to help you grow every day. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us, follow us on Facebook. Keep growing, find a good Bible teaching church, share this video with somebody else. Sin is our greatest problem, but Jesus Christ is our greatest solution.